important uh, organ in our body is a kidney. There are two kidneys which are we are going to get here. One which is a we have the right kidney and left kidney, and this is a ureter and this is a urinary bladder. So we have the right and left kidney. You have to see the all measurements, shape, size, everything. You have to know the all the anatomy. Twelve centimeter we are going to get the that is the length. Okay. Here uh, kidney is having the anterior surface, posterior surface, medial border, lateral border. So this anterior surface is convex. Posterior when you go it is a flat. So it is a flat. So that is one which is you have to remember about the uh, kidney. And this is a ureter. Whatever the kidney functions you know, that is a kidney which which is a filtration of the blood forming the urine. Filtration of the blood is done and with that there is a formation of urine in the kidney. So that is brought to the ureter, this is a tube and collected in the urinary bladder. So kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, this is a urinary system. Okay. So these are the arteries where you can get this is the inferior vena cava and this is the aorta. We are going to get the aorta, the abdominal aorta. So this is about the, you have to remember about the kidney. Okay right and left kidney functions you know so whatever the all the uh, regulation of uh, water balance of the body and uh, filtration of blood removal of the body waste all this will be done and uh, hemopoiesis we call hemopoiesis means production of rbc hemopoietin that is the one which is uh, released <coughs> in the kidney okay this is the liver where you can see the normal which is we get this is the one uh, we call it only that is uh, situated in the right hypochondriac region and this is the liver okay it has a prominent inferior border and five surfaces this is the right surface anterior surface superior and uh, inferior and posterior five surfaces weight will be you know weight of the liver will be the 1800 grams in male and 15 <coughs> to 1600 gram in females okay that is uh, you have to remember and here you have the one inferior surface of the liver you are going to get this is a gallbladder okay you get this is a gallbladder where the liver secretes bile and it is stored in the that is a gallbladder so this is a gallbladder and this is a fossa for the gallbladder in the liver okay so this is one very important uh, liver is secreting bile bile is stored in the that is a gallbladder. That is the most important you have to remember. So liver functions, metabolic function, metabolism, protein, fat, carbohydrate, and the synthesis. It secretes the synthesis of the all the uh, prothrombin and all, and storage function in there, and conjugation function in there. Then we are going to get the secretion. That is a <coughs> that is the liver. So we have studied the liver, kidney, and ureter, urinary bladder. These are the two lungs. <coughs> you are going to get the right lung and left lung. We have the, these are the fissures. These are the normal cuttings on the lung. We have the uh, two fissures in the right lung and we have the left lung we have in the one fissure. It has left lung, upper lobe, lower lobe and we have here is the upper lobe, middle and lower lobe. In the left we have the, this is the lingula we call. This is the lingula one border which is we call as a lingula where inferior one then next comes about the, the root this is the root of the lung root means what what structure entering inside and coming out entering inside also coming out those structure like we have bronchus is there pulmonary artery is there pulmonary vein those are called the root of the lung okay this is the root of the lung so this is very important you have the root of the lung in the left lung is we have left principal bronchus, pulmonary artery, superior pulmonary vein, inferior pulmonary vein. These are the content in the root of the and all we call. This is the normal liver, brownish in color. But it is an enlarged one, the hepatomegaly we call. <coughs> alcoholic liver and all we call liver cirrhosis and all. That condition we get the big liver, this is one called as a, which we call hepatitis and all. Okay? Hepatomegaly, enlargement of liver is called hepatomegaly, enlargement of spleen is called in a splenomegaly. So you have to remember about the, this is the one hepatomegaly, big one that is your window. So these are the organs important you have to see 
and these also you have uh, uh, seen in the mounted specimens all jars which you may have get there also you have got so this is all about the liver kidney lungs and liver the, there we will go uh, this one which is you can see like this this is the esophagus and this is the stomach and this is the duodenum you are going to get the small intestine so this is all you can see esophagus and this is the stomach and this is the duodenum esophagus is 10 inch stomach is also 10 inch in length 25 centimeter or here also duodenum we are going to get 10 inches 10 inch 10 inch 10 inch or 25 centimeters each okay so here when you see uh, stomach esophagus is ending here with the fundus whatever we see here is the this is all is the stomach part upper part of dome shape we call it fundus and this is the body and pyloric antrum pyloric canal four parts of the stomach fundus body pyloric antrum pyloric canal and this is the duodenum duodenum also having the first second third and fourth part four parts we are going to do. okay <coughs> interior when you see the stomach inside it will have the mucosal folds and these mucosal folds we call it the gastric rugae gastric rugae which is we are going to call these are the mucosal fold towards the pylorus you can see this is all about this okay sagrani upon now ellaru hatti salvagen maartive illo yet it not the organ 10 inches it 10 inches salvage yan en maadlak bekagutid no okay only 25 centimeter this is small what is the capacity of stomach kitty stomach capacity it is a, about 2 liters or uh, how much it is one and half liter to two liter maximum okay you can have the one and half to two liters that is the one which is you have to remember so this is all about the stomach okay stomach c pota sati sapan sada karto patti salvagene alla martivir now new in bandare nave kalathu varbek patti salvagene martivir kare anen maadlak bek nodre ear tight nodre the organ okay that is you have to remember about the uh, 25 centimeter or 10 inch okay four parts fundus body <coughs> pyloric antrum pyloric canal those parts you have to remember. this is you can see heart you can see complete heart chambers of the heart here right atrium here right ventricle left ventricle and posteriorly we have here we have the left atrium so these are the things you have to remember apex of the heart is this left ventricle apex and we have the this is the anterior surface and the inferior surface so the here we have the three surface anterior or sternocostal left surface and inferior or diaphragm surface so these all are the you have the most important parts of the heart four chamber right atrium right ventricle uh, left ventricle and left this left ventricle and left atrium these are the auricles auricles are different huh? these are the auricles which you, we can see these are the right auricle this is and left auricle this right auricle we have the what is the important function of the auricle interior of this it has the musculopectinity and which is dissolves the the small clots in the blood blood which is flushes over this area and that will be dissolved small clot will be dissolved by the auricle which is interiorly it is a rough surface that is a musculopectin so that is all you have to remember in the uh, heart great vessels you have to remember here we have the one which is aorta you are going to get and this is the pulmonary trunk so we get the right uh, ventricle that is arising pulmonary trunk blood going from the right ventricle to the lung deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood is brought to the <coughs> left atrium by the pulmonary veins and that is pumped to the left ventricle left ventricle to the it goes to the aorta and all over the body so that is all about the you have to remember about the heart so these are the all important things you have to remember about the heart stomach and this is the one which is a total brain this is we call as a meninges covering of brain is called as a meninges and this is one which is we can see the cerebrum this is all is a cerebrum and uh, this is a, we have the below this we have the cerebellum 
లాన్ మెందు అంటే సరే బిలం మొట్ట మెందు అంటే సరే బిలం సో దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్ ఇస్ ద బ్రెయిన్ పార్ట్ కవరింగ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ హ్యావింగ్ దట్ ఇస్ ద మెనింజెస్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్ వి ఆర్ డ్రీమ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద సల్కా అండ్ గైరాయ్ సల్కా అండ్ గైరాయ్ ఆర్ ప్రెజెంట్ సల్కా ఆర్ ద డిప్రెషన్ గైరాయ్ ఆర్ ద ఎలివేటెడ్ పార్ట్ బికాస్ దిస్ వి హ్యావ్ ద బ్రెయిన్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ లేయర్స్ స్మాల్ మైక్రో లేయర్స్ it may spread up to the 30 km if you spread layer wise brain it is going to up to the uh, 30 km so that is very important you have to remember about the that is about the uh, brain still brain parts we don't know that is so it is a research work that is uh, brain surgeries are not successful that much because that you have the almost all the some parts of the brain may be damaged that you have to remember okay so this is all about the brain okay few important things i will show you with me you can come and i will highlight you remember and this is all we call as an mummified body we use this body for the surface mark that is one you have to remember heart and all we marking abdominal organ kidney arteries we make this one this is all about the after studying organ we have to mark on the external surface of the body that we call as a surface marking okay you can see both the side brain to the all thorax lung how the fetus is having so those all section and posteriorly you can see the spinal cord of the fetus that is very important okay that is all about the total these are the skeletons of the other animals this is a mouse skeleton and this is the one which is next is the rat here is the rat skeleton one which is we can see this is the <coughs> this is the rat skeleton if you can see rat skeleton this is the one which is we study the that is one uh, mouse skeleton goose member goose okay and you have seen the uh, human uh, skeleton so this is all about the total skeleton comparative anatomy so this is all about the briefly about the our department one this specimen this is very important this is a brain with a spinal cord very important you can see the brain total brain covering of the brain is there and this is a spinal cord we get the spinal cord this is a brain and spinal cord okay so this is all about the uh, all organ any questions you have you can ask